My, my sister, where you are working is not where you are supposed to work. Where you are training is not your place. There's a place somewhere that God will give you. Do you hear me? This is temporary. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my tenant. Because I see trouble that is coming. It's like they will take her out. Do you hear me? Yes. They will take her out. She will be stranded. But I see an opportunity coming somewhere. She must not look on this. God will help. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And standing with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mpulukeng. I'm from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Prophet was telling me about where I'm doing my training, like I'm doing my practicals, teaching practicals. It is true, um, I was not aware that I'm in a wrong place. He told me that um, the place that I am now is not where I'm supposed to be. So there's a place that I'm going to, to do my practicals. And how do you feel that he made you aware of this? I'm very happy because I was not aware and I really thank God because I know God reveals to redeem. Where is your partner, you? Huh? Come here. Mama, you have been facing a lot. Even here, you see here. There are things here. And these things, they will make sure you don't stay with anyone. You hear me? Amen. So now we must set you free. Amen. Because it's not because this man wanted to leave. There's a woman somewhere. Amen. You know, so let's not go into details. Someone took your partner. You must pray. Come out. Come out. You're free. Simone, no, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Sakan Gouveni and I come from Eden. Ma, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Thank you, Lord. Prophet Andres asked me where is my partner and I told him that we have separated. And he told me that there are things in my stomach that makes me uh, to be alone, that I cannot stay with anyone. So that's what's the prophecy that was given to me by Prophet Andres. Thank you. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? I feel released. I feel free. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. My brother, who bought a truck? It's my friend. Huh? It's my friend. It's your friend. Yeah. Uh, tell him to give you business. Amen. You hear Amen. me? Amen. Tell him, someone said, uh, you, if you give me business, you'll prosper. Amen. So, because I'm seeing a truck Amen. that is not long, it was bought. So, yes. tell him to give you business. Tell him, as we said right, so. Sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Walter. I'm coming from Parktown, Johnsburg. Sir, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, so the prophet said who bought a truck. Uh, so my friend bought a truck some a month and a half ago. Yeah, so he said you must tell him to give you business and then that's when he will prosper. So I want to confirm the prophecy to be true. My friend bought a truck one and a half months back. Yes. And how do you feel that today he located you and spoke upon your life regarding this? Uh, I feel happy. I feel very happy because I've been trying to get into the trucking space and it's not been easy. But through this process, I believe God uh, will turn my life around. The, the whole family hates you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Is it because you are rude or what? It's because I don't what? do what they do. What is the reason of hating you this way? Because I see sisters here that are not understanding you. 
Because I, I don't do what they do. Huh? I don't want to do what they are doing. Who's, who, who, who's there? All my sisters and In brothers. In My Those, sisters and brothers, they yes, are there. Yes, I see a place called Komtlanga. Yes. Uh, please. Uh, I don't know, these divisions, they are very bad. Amen. And I was hearing someone from that place saying, Ray, we'll show you. I'm sure you're hearing me. Yes, sir. I was hearing someone, come hang out there, saying, we'll show her. So now, if you realize that there's divisions in the family, isolate yourself a little bit. Even what you have, don't show them. Yes, sir. I'm sure you're hearing me. Amen. And as, as siblings, you cannot show each other that me, I'm better. This one is better. Uh -uh, uh -uh. You're going to kill each other. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. You know, the theory, they will kill you. So now, enjoy what God has given you without anyone knowing. Amen. I'm sure you're hearing me. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because you know what has been happening. Yes. And some of them, they are questioning why you, everything is like it's opening up for you. Yes. Huh? Yes. So isolate yourself. Otherwise, you will never be free. Amen. I'm sure it makes sense. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Touch here. Jesus name. It was, I was just hearing some lady say, we'll show her, we'll show her. This is our family. Show her, show her. But we must pray for peace, isn't it? So I pray that your family must serve peace. No one must show another. Amen. You are free. You are Amen. free. Amen. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Christina. I come from Midrand. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Oh, you talk about uh, my family that um, they are divided from me. And uh, they hate me because um, I don't do what they do. I don't go to the cultures, what they, uh, they are doing. So I know it's true because... Um, all the time they I, all the time it's just like i don't belong there <laughs> i feel so outside that all the time when i'm with them so yeah it, it's true and how t how is that affecting you it, it's affecting me a lot because even if somebody passed away they will never call me i will just maybe hear from somebody who's outside the family telling me this and this is happening yeah, it, it really affects me because I really don't know why they hate me so much because I never did anything to them, but I know it's because of um, I don't follow what they are following. So, yeah. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrew spoke to you about it? I was very surprised. <laughs> I was very surprised actually because I never thought it is becoming an issue all the time because me I've been ignoring it and just putting it aside. But if uh, God is seeing it become a problem for me, I, I'm glad that he located it. And I'm sure that God will cover me with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm seeing you, sister, stand up. I'm seeing you losing your job. Huh? I'm seeing you losing your job, you must pray. You hear me? You must pray. You touch you at the back. Can you bring her, bring her to my wife here to receive prayer? Mm. Bring that woman. Say, so your kidneys are failing. You hear me? Your, your kidneys, they are failing now, as I'm speaking. So we need God to set you free. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? Yes, so God must heal you in Jesus' name. You're free, sir. You're free. Go check. Life, sir. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Peter. I came from Tembisa. Sorry? 
Tembisa, Kanana Extension 4. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. It's true. I went to the doctor, I can't remember one, but he told me I have a kidney failures. And today I get confirmed on the, here on the church. So I believe and trust God I'll be healed today. Did you go to the doctor? Were you diagnosed with kidney failure? Please tell us about it. Yes, I went, uh, I'm sure it's last year or last of last year. And then he told me I have that sickness, kidney failures. And how has it affected you? Uh, when I, Reynolds is a problem and, uh, and other stuff that I can mention on the public years. And so how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life? I'm very happy. I'm very happy because now he told me I'm going to be healed. I have to trust God and live right. Yes. Out! Oh, you demon! Leave that stomach, you dirty spirit. Leave it. Leave, you demon. Huh? W what are you doing here? I can't hear you. You don't want to talk. Huh? Why are you blocking this lady? Huh? I can't hear you. Mar what is your reason of blocking here? Why are you blocking here? Ilapa Jesus. I heard you've been praying for a house. Yes. So the house has come. Yeah. You hear me? Yes. So there's no demon that will stop you. Because I was building my mom's house. No, remember, remember, I there was a day you woke up. Oh. Uh, I want, still want to talk. This demon. Jesus. Look here, look here. Look here. There was a day you woke up. 
yes. there was something wrong yes. somewhere. Mm. You know, and you were questioning what is happening. Yes. No? Yes. So now, I was hearing about the house. Uh, make your mother happy. Hey. In Jesus' name. Sister, so you have started to build a house, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. How I far is the house? I'm struggling to finish. Huh? But this month or next month I will finish. You will finish? Yes. May God I bless you. I want you to start my own. May God bless you, Mama. On her life, ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Um, lady, I'm coming from Timbisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andrew is located you and minister upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Andre said that Prophet Andre said that uh, my mother is going to be I forgot like uh, uh, Andre said that my mother is going to be blessed because I've already finished the house of my mother and now I'm thinking about to bleed another one and it's strong. Yes. Is that so many things? And then I, I confirm that it is true because uh, this month I'm going to finish the house. I already have the money to finish the house, and I was saving another money to build my own house with my husband. Thank you. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life? I'm feeling very well. Because that's what I want in my life. Thank you. You're not sick. You're not sick. You're free. Thank you. In Jesus. Thank you, Arisa. You're free. Stay on. Don't, don't do DNA tests. You hear me? Amen. Don't do them. Amen. I'm talking about a child. Don't a do them. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You'll be discouraging the child. Amen. Amen. The, the one who questioned. Hey. Uh, let them know that the child belongs to them. Amen. 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 I'm sure you're hearing me. Amen. I said, well, don't do any, Amen. any Amen. DNA test. Amen, my prophet. Whoever that wants DNA test, go and mm. tell them, I said, the child belongs to them. Amen. <laughs> Jesus. God bless you. your job. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because I see you pray that God move me from pick and pay. I want a better job. Amen. I see a greater opportunity that is coming for you. Amen. You hear me? It's coming. And may God bless you. And I also see a car Amen. that is coming. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing me. I hear you. Amen. Huh? I hear you. Listen, many people, they know you that you are working in pick and pay. You are not working a good job. Amen. They don't expect you to come home with a car. Amen. I want to tell you, I see a job coming. Amen. And I also see a car uh, which is also coming. God Amen. bless you. My brother, Mama must get out of family fights. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So that she can live long. Uh, because if not, they will kill Mama because of 
What is happening? You are hearing me? She must not fight with anyone. In fact, she must not talk to anyone again. Uh, because th this family has been fighting is enough. So no, please, remove Mama from these people. Amen. Mama, get out. You see, Mama will be killed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. His life, sir. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Cosmas Iswanda. I come from Zim. Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, she, uh, he located us and then he spoke about the sickness that is happening to my mom. And then how he said uh, how he started and where he's coming from. And how to, to help her get healed, to stay away from the uh, fight. That's what she, he said. Your amen is very weak. Before this woman can come, there was a woman uh, that you had. And please, uh, it seems like you carried over the attacks of the previous partner to this. This was a long time ago. So please, uh, we need to release you because you are struggling a lot. Yes. I'm sure you are hearing me. Yes. I saw you, uh, you were involved with a very wrong person. But I want to tell you, Jesus loves you. I believe your now family will prosper by force. So I'm releasing this thing from your body uh, that you received there. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Otherwise, I don't ever pray for this lady. Come here. to use. I'm sure you're hearing me. And they've made you suffer for the rest of your life. And I also saw death. You know, it has to do with children. So please, uh, I cancel any plan of the devil in your life. But I'm telling you, you've been suffering like this because of the family issues. These are people who used to believe in charms seriously so. And they were using them in a serious way. You know, others, they were even throwing things down as sangomas. So the spirit has been following you, but today you are free in Jesus' name. You are free, Mama. Life, ma. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I am Catherine Sibanyoni. I come from St. Children. Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He spoke about uh, my family history. That my family used to be using, they were deep in charms, deep in witchcraft a lot, and they were chasing me a lot. They, I confirm it to be true, because uh, I was fighting. Uh, my spiritual life was a warfare, a deep warfare. I, will, I didn't know that they were using witchcraft. So I was shocked when I sleep, I was seeing Sangomas, and I've never been in Sangoma. I've never believed in those things. But they were following me, and spirit of death, every year I was fighting the spirit of death. Every year I will see charms. Everywhere I will, every day, almost every day, I'll be eating in dreams and coughing out blood. So I confirm everything that he is saying is true, because I was amazed what's going on with me spiritually. But now he confirmed what was bothering me all these years. And I thank God that I'm free. Jesus. 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 Jesus.